What is going on everyone? I am Nux Pro and welcome to this Escape from Tarkov video. This video will be a key guide for the pharmacy key. This key unlocks the pharmacy on interchange and I did 50 online raid runs and documented everything I found in the pharmacy on a beautiful spreadsheet for you to look at. The most valuable thing you can find in this room is a Ledex. So let's see how many we found in 50 raids. But before we get into it, don't forget to like the video. It helps so much. It takes one second of your time and helps me out tremendously. And don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 14,100 subscribers. Now, let's see what we found in the pharmacy, mother. <laughs> On the flea market, this key runs for about 55,000 rubles. That is as of April, 2021. This can obviously change throughout the wipe. You can find this key in jackets and on scavs inside their pockets and bags. There's also a fixed spawn on shoreline, West Wing room 101 on the desk. The pharmacy key opens up the pharmacy inside of the mall on interchange to get to this door. You're going to go through the idea entrance like so. And the pharmacy is right there in the pharmacy. You're going to find two locked cash registers. There's a duffel bag right there as well. And you're going to find a med bag. Now, I have found medical items on every single shelf except for the top two shelves. Nothing ever spawns, but I have found items on every shelf. Then you come in here, all these shelves, these shelves, these shelves, these, these, these. I checked the ground every single raid I did. I didn't find anything on the ground. Nothing on this fallen cart, nothing on the chair, nothing on the table except this med bag. And that is the pharmacy. And now the moment of truth. How many lead X's did we find? Drum roll, please. We found zero lead x's in 50 runs so it's pretty clear if you are looking for a lead x the pharmacy room would not be the priority room to go quick plug if you go into the description below i have a video of the top four lead x spawns in escape from tarkov but moving away from that it's super rare i i compare this to uh shoreline east wing room 107 where I've ran that room probably 500 plus times and have never found a Ledex. It's pretty similar here to the pharmacy. Very, very rare. I've only found one or two videos out there of people actually finding it. Looking at the list, Splints takes the top spot with 24 finds. The right column is times double. That just means how many times I found the item twice inside the room at once morphine takes second place with 23 finds i found doubles of that twice there are two quests out there that require you to find found in raid morphines so this could be a good place for that and then as you go down just typical stuff army bandages let's see the saliwas found 13 saliwas so that's pretty cool um good spot to find your saline solution for the hideout found eight propotols some cms kits and i did do about five raids in the 12.10 uh, patch and we found four cat tourniquets and at the bottom we have a mobilizing splints with two vaseline with two and ibuprofen with two so Nothing really special. I'm kind of a psycho for even doing 50 raids to the pharmacy room, but I just wanted to see how many lead X's, if any, I would find. And we found zero. If you know a content creator out there who's done the same thing that I've done, maybe 25 raids 
and they have a list you know let me know in the comments below it'd be a good way to uh compile our data together and get a more um accurate read on the pharmacy inside the mall on interchange would i recommend this key it's only 50k on the flea market so you know why not just have it in your uh your container it's not going to hurt you if you have it and if you just happen to be in that area you know it's free meds meds are kind of pricey right now so you can definitely make that money back quick early game this can be really useful like i said before you have the the two morphine quests and if you're doing like a hardcore account this would be extremely useful obviously you won't be able to buy it on the flea market but if you come across it or find it on shoreline it can be very useful well i hope you enjoyed the video if you again if you can please leave a like it helps out tremendously and don't forget to subscribe we're almost at 14,100 subscribers